Joe, would you just give up already? I'm getting tired of hearing this soundtrack on Fast Forward. It's driving me crazy. No, Donald, I swear it exists. I've seen it before. I promise I'm not insane. Joe, stop the cap already. It doesn't exist. I would know I am the Generation 3 expert here. Donald, really? I bet on my life that I've seen it before. It happened once on my old Ruby file. I spent hours searching again, but I could never find it. I swear this time will be different. Jesus Christ, Joe, your geriatric ass doesn't have the time left in life to be doing this. Don't worry about me, Donald. I'm still in my prime. Biden 2024, baby. All right, let's get this stare. What the hell? What are you guys doing? Did you start without Obama, me? Obama, thank God you're here. Can you tell Joe there's no such thing as a random trainer climbing this mountain while we're on the cable car? What the hell? No, I've never heard of that before. Joe, do you really think that going up and down will just trigger a trainer out of nowhere? Obama, that's exactly what I said, but this smooth brain won't stop doing this. I just want to get started with the episode. Obama, I promise this guy exists. Just give me like a couple more attempts and then I'll give up, but I really want to prove this to you guys. You all think I'm crazy, but <laughs> you're going to pay. The fuck? Oh, they're all going to pay. They're all going to pay the ultimate price. Jesus, chill, Joe. Jesus, all right, Mr. Reynolds. Chill the hell out. You really aren't helping your case. You're clearly insane. Yeah, can we just move on, please? We have viewers watching. There he is. There Holy he shit, is. Fuck he exists. the viewers, Obama. There he is. I knew it wasn't a crazy. Jesus Christ. All right, Joe, congratulations. You definitely just proved you aren't crazy. Now, there's definitely no doubt in my mind. You are completely sane. Can you just progress the story now? With pleasure. Donald, you can suck it. We all saw it. The viewers saw it, I saw it, you saw it, Hussein Osama saw it. Don't call it. me that. Let's all begin this episode with the knowledge that I proved Donald wrong about Generation 3 Pokemon. Holy shit. Fine, good job, Joe. You are a Pokemon expert. Can you just do an intro now, for God's sake? Oh, uh, yeah, my bad. Viewers, welcome back to our President's Play Pokemon Emerald series. Last time, the three of us traversed through and that George. one cancer route, and then the Meteor Falls place with the Bloods and the Crips or some shit. And now we're at the top of a volcano. I don't really know what the hell is going on, honestly. I just have to fight a lot of fire trainers this episode. Beautiful intro, Joe. Thanks for taking your time to put together something thoughtful. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, what the hell is this guy feeding his poochie in it? Is it on crack or something? The dude's got his chest hair poking out of his deep V neck and everything. Definitely the type to be a coke addict. I wouldn't be surprised if his poochie got a hold on the stash. That's what dogs do anyway. Incredible deductive reasoning, Donald. That's... Why, you're the second most knowledgeable Emerald player after me. Oh, second most, my ass. Let's see you fight these trainers first, and then we'll talk Joe. Jesus Christ, did you guys skip your couple's therapy session today or something? Can you two act like normal human beings, please? You know what? Fine, Obama. I'm just glad that mountain trainer showed up. I was beginning to doubt myself, but now I'm as confident as I can be. Love to hear that. I'm going to destroy these bloods and then take out Flannery's hot ass by the end of this episode. Calm down, Joe and maybe even beat her in a battle. Joe, that is fu- Actually, wait a second. Oh, you lucky bastard. She's 18 years old. You're okay this time, Joe. Mm, okay, you know what? Never mind then. Oh my God, Joe, Joe. you're going to hell and so are you, Dilzan. You know what, Joe? I'm over it. You just don't surprise me with anything anymore. The only thing that would be unexpected is if you actually managed to battle well today. Yeah, I'm getting desensitized to his perversity as well. Oh, Ooh, uh, goodness, this is going to do some damage. Yep, well, safe to say I won't be surprised this episode then. Way to be consistent, Joe. Goodbye, Titan. Yeah, hate to say it, but a magnitude 9, Titan is fucking imploding after that one. Good shit, Joe. Donald, that's too oh far. Oh, my God, Donald, you can't say that, you bastard. That's too much to joke about. If you're going to joke about anything, joke about my gameplay, not the Titan catastrophe. Oh, okay, we'll say less, Joe. You are a terrible trainer, and you are not going to be able to defeat Flannery. Oh, hop off, Donald. I lost one Pokemon to a magnitude 9 because I was rushing through it and arguing with you. If I wanted to take it seriously, I obviously would have just switched into Mango in the first place. Besides, you've already lost multiple Pokemon in your episodes, so All I right, don't want to boys, let me it. talk for a second here. This is going to be a difficult day of battling for you, Joe. Because of that, you're going to need all the support you can get from us. It won't be as mentally demanding as the showdown battles, but you will have to strategize if you want to beat Flannery with this team. We are not too well equipped for a fire type gym leader. So that being said, Donald, give Joe some support here. It is so draining seeing you two just bicker all episode. All right, fine, Barry. 
I like to give Joe some shit talk during these less important battles. But you're right. When it's an important battle, the pride of our team is on the line. So that's enough to make me want to lend my support. Joe, just try to focus up here and win some battles. Fair enough. Yeah, see, Donald watched this 10 billion IQ play. I switched Titan out against the ground type. Is that up to your liking? Yep, glad to see you're thinking with your brain now. All right, I'll pretend that's progress. So Mango should be able to sweep through this Magma admin with ease, but Maxi is a little bit more difficult. He leads with an intimidating Mightyena, so you should probably lead with one of your special attackers, Joe. It shouldn't be a hard battle necessarily. His camera up doesn't really have any good moves at this point in the game. Okay, that works for me. Brock, good looks. Can either of you tell me what the hell they are doing up here? in the first place? Like, do we ever have to come back here for any significant plot point? Yeah, no, this is one of those many reasons as to why Team Magma is a terrible villain organization. They have a secret base or something down below the mountain. But for now, they are trying to cause the volcano to erupt and take out the whole region or something. Like, it's literally a kamikaze mission. I don't know why this is part of the game. What the hell? Why do they have a whole following of people that are OK with this? And what is up with the meteorite they're talking about? OK, I'm glad you asked about the meteorite, because I think that part is pretty cool. Team Magma believes that it can be used as a trigger to cause the volcano to explode. Not much is explained about this, but there's a fan theory that the meteorite is actually somehow related to the red orb and has some implication into Groudon's reversion into primal form in later generations. Again, not much is explained here, but I think it is cool nonetheless. All right, stop jerking it to the lore of Team Magma's fetish for volcanoes, Barack. I was not it's time it. for the maxi battle. Heal up Mango real quick, Joe, and let's take care of business here. Seriously, Obama, you're freaking the viewers out. You also need to be careful before the Crips find out about your obsession with these guys. They're not the goddamn Bloods and Crips guys, but whatever. Joe, good job remembering to switch in a special attacker first. This should be a pretty easy battle, all things considered, but you can definitely get unlucky. Maxi likes to spam sand attack, flinching moves, and supersonic, so just stay patient more than anything else. God damn it, of course he does. I swear this battle is going to take like 15 minutes because we aren't going to be able to hit a move. You'll be fine, Joe. Just believe in the team. It can't be that hard. That being said, we desperately need a water type. Yeah, that's big facts, Donald. It would be huge to have one for this episode, but unfortunately, none of the ones we want are available to use right now. That being said, after this episode, we should be able to move straight on to the fifth gym in the next episode, so we could potentially get our water type then. Wait, well, we get surf after we beat the fifth gym, but the only things on the water in this game are tentacles and magic carps, and we can't use those. What do you mean we can get an encounter then? Jesus Christ, I'm regretting picking Grovile. This moveset is absolute trash. We'll get Leaf Blade at 29. Don't worry, Joe. But Donald, you will have a fun episode next time because you will get the best grass type move in the game for Grovile, and you will get a gym battle. Also, after we beat him, we get access to Surf, and consequently, that gives us access to the Good Rod. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, Donald. The good rod opens up both the Wizcash and the Sharpedo line for us. Technically, Phoebus will be available to us, too, by that point. Holy shit, I'm getting absolutely boned here. Bullet seed is ass, and he is just critting Yeah, whatever. Me. Skill issue, Joe. Anyway, Obama, that's a good point. I will probably take on the desert area for some training, but then do the Norman battle. But more importantly, it sounds like we finally are getting to the point where we have to decide on our water type. I cannot believe I have to switch up my level 26 starter from a level 24 Mighty Inna. That is embarrassing. Yeah, get wrecked, Joe. Anyway, yeah, Donald, based on the comments from the recent episodes, people are pretty heavily in favor of the two Pokemon that you and Joe are kind of tossed between. Uh, there were a lot of Sfeels, Whalmers, Corefishes, and maybe some others, but it's mainly between Wizcash and Sharpedo. Oh my God, and now I fucking miss my Joe, move. stop crying and get good at the game, please. This better not flinch. Ooh, feels bad. Holy man. shit, you have got to be joking me. Oh my God, what is happening? Joe, can you just hurry up and beat this guy already? Donald, did you not pay attention to anything that happened on the screen over the last two minutes? Truthfully, no, Joe, not at all. I was thinking about our future water type and how we are definitely getting a Sharpedo or a Melodic, one or the other. Okay, well then, you can shut the hell up for two reasons then. One being how I have been getting boned by RNG this battle. So now I'm just going to have Mango sweep instead of trying to spread experience. 
And the other is how we are not getting either of those Pokemon. We will be getting WizCash. To hell with that, Joe. WizCash has more voters for it than any of the other water type. And it has Wiz in its name, just like Wiz Mer. Joe, the viewers are not goddamn voters. They are simply giving us nickname possibilities for whatever they want. The number of viewers choosing one specific Pokemon has no effect on which one we actually get. Oh, are you scared of a fair voting system, Donald? Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, my God. The hypocrisy in that statement, Joe. Obama, can you don't please tell Joe this. that we aren't getting a goddamn whiz cash? Honestly, I don't give a shit between those three Pokemon. Both of the ones I wanted have been completely ignored anyway. I'm going to stay out of this one and let you guys figure out a way to come to a conclusion yourselves. Don't include me until you figure it out. You know what? Fine. We have like 45 minutes of gameplay before we need to make a decision anyway. For now, I have more important things like getting down to the next town and planning out the gym yeah, battle. Yeah, Joey, we're going to be talking about this later. Viewers tell Joe that Wiz Cash sucks balls and Sharpedo is a better team member. Joe, turn back around. We need to grab the meteorite from that thing up there. We can give it back to the scientist in that ashy town and get the return TM from him. All right, good call, Barack. And Donald, stop brainwashing the viewers. Viewers tell Donald here that Wiz Cash is a much better Pokemon for our team, considering the broken water ground typing and the much needed bulk that our team is missing. Yeah, great. Let's just pit the viewers against each other, why don't we? Try to keep things civil in the comments, please. Why the hell is this lady up here? Wasn't this volcano going to explode in like two minutes if we didn't show up? She's a businesswoman, Joe. She's just trying to sell her cookies. And all those Team Aqua and Magma Goonies were her clientele. And you just ran them off. I would sue your ass Sucks if I Sucks to be her, her. there. What the fu uh, Lydia, I couldn't care less about your shroomish eating poke blocks or whatever you're talking about. Delete this number. Damn, Joe, a random girl with a pretty name calls you and you're trying to block her. I'm proud of you. Barack, ever since the, that magnitude nine and then getting hacks that entire fight against Maxi, I'm over it. I just want to beat Flannery's ass and take a gym battle win for the squad and it's taking way too damn long to get there. Calm down, Joe. We still have a whole lot of trainers before we get to Flannery. We have this whole route to get through still, and her gym is especially full of trainers compared to the ones we've been through so far. All right, fine, Obama. I just want to battle her already. That maxi fight pissed me off, and I'm trying to bring out that demon Joe that I promised last episode. Anyway, what the hell is this guy still doing here? Didn't we scare all of his friends away? Yeah, this is where they are building their secret base that I was talking about a few minutes ago. We come back later. Uh-oh, Roar, who's coming in? Oh, my God. Oh, You're hell yeah. Me. Let's go Ice Spice. Joe, this thing is like four times our level. Please switch out here instead of just wasting our time. Now, fuck that, Obama. Ice Spice can do it. See, look, he's not even attacking me. He's too scared. Joe, as soon as the AI randomly decides to click an attacking move, you are dead immediately. Oh, my God. Maybe Ice Spice can do it. That's the spirit. Thanks for believing, Donald. Holy shit, Joe. I'm being facetious. Ice Spice is dying in like two seconds. Please just kill this thing, thank you. Oh no. Joe, just go deposit this Wizmer when we get down to the next town. We already have a couple water types to decide on for one of our next encounters. And we already know the other one because George decided on the piece of shit for us. Oh my God, fine guys. Let me just have this last episode with Ice Spice, please. Besides, she might be useful in the gym battle, just like how she was for the last one. All right, that's a fair point. Donald, when it's your turn next episode, you can deposit her, but she could be good to sack to overheats for this upcoming battle. Shh, don't let her hear you say that, Obama. She's literally unconscious in her Pokeball right now, Joe. Anyway, that brings up a good point about strategizing Joe. Her level 29 Torkoal is an absolute beast, and we don't have any good answers to it, if I'm being honest. Uh, we might hell? have to train up the team a little bit after we go through the gym trainers. I don't think we're going to be able to handle it at the rate we are at. Our Pokemon stats are severely outclassed by hers right now. Obama, what the fuck was that moan you let out in the middle of that? There was a spider on my desk. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, whatever. Anyway, yeah, Obama, I have Flannery's team pulled up on my second monitor here, and I agree, it's pretty scary. The sunny days, the overheats, the attracts, the possible paralysis from body slams, and overall, just the scary team. But I really don't think it's going to be as scary as Watson. We can actually do a little damage this time around. Also, that past battle, there actually gave me an idea on something we can do. But we can get back to that when we get there. I know I've been messing with you, Joe, but I think you'll figure things out. That being said, Joe, can you heal up our goddamn team? 
It's giving me anxiety. Don't say that, Donald. Anxiety is a mental health condition and you shouldn't joke about it. Holy shit, Obama. What are you, a social justice warrior or some shit now? Take a chill pill, you fuck. Also, yeah, Donald, I don't need to heal. This team is full of warriors hardened by the experience of battle. They will live by the sword or die trying. All right, calm down, Rambo. It's not that serious. Also, something's weird with this double battle. Some random cyclist and some random picnicker are just hanging out on a secluded cliff staring at each other. I feel like we interrupted something here. Mind your business, Donald. These NPCs have lives, too. We're the main character, not the only character. Have some respect. All right, you know what, Joe? I should have known your creepy ass wouldn't see a problem with this whole situation. Obama, can you do what you do and change the subject for me? Yeah, sure, Donald. So after this battle, you should just have one left, and then we're down in Lava Ridge Town. Um, it, it's certainly uh, secluded by nature, yet very beautiful place. Honestly, one of my favorite areas in the entire region. What do you guys think of it? Thanks, Barack. I hate it. It's too hot, and there's too many old people. It reminds me of Florida, and fuck Florida and Ron DeSantis' conservative ass. All right, needlessly political, but whatever, Joe. What about you, Donald? I'm not a huge fan of it either. But the comparison to Florida and the fact that Joe dislikes it makes me like it a little bit more. That being said, I mainly don't care for it because it's just a bunch of retired old people and there's clearly not a good economy. The hell do you mean not a good economy? Well, not surprised you can't tell, you Democrat. The hot springs probably has an incredibly high cost of maintenance. And the only business in the area besides the center and mart is the remedy shop. And we all know how pseudoscientific those homeopathic medicines are. Guys, this looks like a bad idea, but it feels so right. Joe, please do not do it. Parkour. Jesus Christ, oh Joe. Oh my God, Joe, you fucking child. Do you even realize what you just did? Uh, ooh, yeah, I got us an item. What is it? Ooh, see, free money. You're welcome, Donald. Whatever, Joe. Yeah, now you have to go all the way back around, Joe. Our viewers, we'll get back to you in a minute, I guess. Okay, so I came back here to sell some stuff at the Mart. And now Donald here apparently wants to teach oh, us how you, to Joe. roll around like Diabito from Family Guy. So we're gonna do that real quick. Not exactly how the move works, but yeah, good thing you found this here, Joe. Rollout could be our saving grace against Flannery. So it is for sure good to have as an option. You can get this move all the way up to like 480 base power or something. So it can potentially be a one hit KO on her Torkoal if we play our cards right. I think I still wanna keep the low commitment rock tomb around and metal claw is stab and we can't get rid of rock smash. So I think headbutt is the right choice here. Yeah, it sucks because headbutt is our most reliable move on Titan, but hey, reliability isn't exactly Titan's greatest strength, is it? Oof, too soon, Donald. All right, we made it back in one piece. Sorry for that little detour, guys, but I just really wanted to do some ledge jumping. I felt like Alder from the Pokemon Black and White 2 games. My legs! Whatever, Joe, it ended up being a good thing for us since we got a useful move on Titan. Anyway, that lady gives you the why not egg. I don't think we need to waste our time with that. Yeah, more importantly, this guy's got the right idea. A hot sand bath with some egg lady giving us neck massages. This is the goddamn life. Oh, how could you not want to live here, Donald? I'm not saying I wouldn't want to live here, Joe. I'm just saying I don't respect the town from a fiscal point of view. Oh, fiscal schmiscal, Donald. Live a little, why don't you? Some of us actually care about the economy, Joe, unlike you and your student loan forgiving ass. All right, guys, that's enough. Joe, heal up the team and go get the charcoal and some items from that herbal shop and just get to the gym already. All right, fine, fine. Viewers, we'll see you there. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Finally at the meat and the potatoes of the episode, boys. I'm stoked. This is gonna be a good one. It smells like skunk in this bitch. Don't think that's skunk Joe. This is a fire gym right next to an herbal shop. Put two and two together here. Yeah, why do you think all this smoke is in the air, Joe? This is heinous. I must put a stop to this blasphemy. I'm gonna kill every trainer in here. All right, that's super dark, Joe, but I like the enthusiasm, I guess. Wait, my screen is glitched. What do you mean, Donald? Like the whole screen is black. Who are we up against right now? Uh, well, Joe is just about to kill a slugma. Slugma balls, Obama. <laughs> God damn it, Donald. Are you serious? Seriously, Obama, you're just too easy sometimes. You gotta be less gullible than that. For real. I got you with gulping earlier in this playthrough, and now Donald got you with slugma. I wonder who's gonna be next. Fuck you. No one's gonna be next. You won't get me again. Anyway, takedown is actually an okay move because our ability prevents recoil. 
but at 85% accuracy, I don't know if it's worth dropping any of our coverage moves here. Yeah, I agree it would be our strongest neutral hitting move, even after stab, but our other moves just provide better utility. And 85% accuracy isn't something I'd like to rely on. Yeah, honestly, Titan's move set was really good for us in the previous few episodes, but now it's starting to fall off, in my opinion. Rock and steel moves are notoriously inaccurate in these early to mid-generation games. Big facts, Joe. Down the line, he's going to get better stab moves, but they're still going to be inaccurate. I'm thinking rock slide and iron tail. We can probably afford to put earthquake on him, too, but that's not until, like, the seventh gym or so, I think. This gym is so strange, and people are just getting high in these random pits. Yeah, maybe you'll find your son in one of these. Ooh, good one, Barry. Well, hop off Barack. My family does not partake in these devilish activities. Easy peasy. Joe, you really need to heal up, like, ASAP. Yeah, Joe, that was close. Yeah, yeah, stop crying. I'll heal in a so shit. Get fucked. And that's what you get for rushing through things, Joe. There's a lot of trainers in this gym, and you just got a bunch of cheap healing items from that herbal shop. No need to be stingy. Yeah, yeah, lesson learned or whatever. It's not a big deal. These guys only have one Pokemon each anyway. Oh, wow, would you look at that. Donald. What the hell is a Kecleon doing in this gym? I thought Jesus, this was for Titan. fire types. Well, if I remember correctly from the electric gym, some random zigzagoon completely boned me with two critical hit thunderbolts. So I'm guessing this Kecleon is just going to throw off some flamethrowers. Yeah, that's what Emerald gyms like to do, I think. The trainers are more concerned with the moves used as opposed to the actual types. I think there's a meta tight in here, too, that likes to use fire punch. Nothing like some good old meta titties, am I right, boys? Uh, sure, Joe. Whatever. Joe, you sound like a boomer trying to fit in with a young crowd, and you're not pulling it off. Yeah, and you're not pulling off that shitty-ass toupee, Donald. Joe, you Psyduck, this isn't a toupee, it's my real hair. Oh, yeah, right, you Snorlax. Google it, Stunfish. All right, hey, guys, can you uh, shut the hell up for a second? I have an idea for a question of the day for the viewers. Didn't we already ask them to decide on Sharpedo or WizCash in the comments? Well, they can go comment again, Joe. Who cares? We asked them like a billion things every episode anyway. Good point. What do you got, Obama? Well, going through this gym puzzle has me wondering about all the other gyms in this game and across the Pokemon series as a whole. I was wondering about everyone's favorite gyms in the series, whether it be by design, puzzle ingenuity, the gym leader, whatever. What do you guys got? Ooh, okay, that's a good one, Barack. If I had to pick a single gym in the series, hmm, hmm. You know what, that's a harder question than I thought. Joe, you go first. All right, for me, it's probably the ghost gym in Sinnoh, and specifically the platinum one with the shapes on the doors and stuff. Joe, what the fuck, that one is basic as hell. Why do you like it so much? Well, it just reminds me of those shapes in the slots toys. I like to do those from time to time in the Oval Office to keep my mental fortitude in tip-top shape. Joe, I'm gonna pretend you didn't just say what you said before that battle. Barack, what's your favorite gym? Oh, mine is pretty easy. Definitely the dragon gym in Generation 5. That is easily one of the most badass setups in all of Pokemon. Unforgettable design, in my opinion. All right, that's a pretty base choice, honestly. Much better than Joe's, that's for sure. Oh, blow me, Donald. You haven't even given an answer yet. Good point, Donald. You still have to share yours? I have no idea where the hell I'm going. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna have to go with the last gym in this game with the breaking ice puzzle. I thought it was very cool when I first realized what was happening, and the sound effects are incredibly satisfying. It's also one of the only gyms where you can be rewarded for your problem solving by not having to face any of the trainers. I think that was pretty clever of Game Freak. Good answer, Donald. Viewers, let us know what you got. Anyway, Joe, good job getting to Flannery. Yeah, I'm not sure how I did it, but I'm actually gonna do a little more prep work, viewers. We'll be back in a second. All right, so this is like 30 minutes later for us, but hopefully just a second for you guys. Check out the team real quick. Mango is at level 28 and poisoned, so we can activate his guts ability, and the rest of our fighters are at level 27. I think that should be enough to take care of Flannery here. Also, Sky has the soft sand because I taught him the Dig TM. His moves are trash, but Dig makes him actually useful in this gym. Yeah, that was a good little grinding session, Joe. Thanks for doing that. Any overheat still? decimates any member of the team, but that's just the nature of the beast. We'll have to just do our best. Okay, also, Titan is getting the quick claw again. And actually, I'm looking at her team now. And I'm more concerned with Ruby getting paralyzed from a body slam than a burn. 
None of her moves actually have burn chances, surprisingly. All right, Joe, sounds like the Previt Gin is doing its job today. You love to see it. Blow me, Trump. All right, Joe, I'm excited for this one. The squad is looking immaculate. It's incredibly rewarding to see how well they have progressed. I remember when we were first arguing about what starter to take, Donald's excitement when we finally encountered the wild Talo, and how well those two handled the first gym together. We've come a long way, boys. Oh, shit, that was dumb of me. Uh, well, I agree with you, Obama, but we're going to have to save the waterworks for later. We have one of our biggest obstacles yet in front of us. It's time to nut up or shut up, boys. Let's do this, Joe. All right, team fully healed items on everyone. That's all I can do. I'm as nervous as can be, but it's finally time. That's good, Joe. That just means you understand what's at stake. The yerkes dodson law of optimal arousal states that we ought to be a little nervous if we want to execute at our best. Holy shit, Obama. You're such a nerd. I can't believe you just said that. Joe, don't be nervous. Just treat it like any other battle. You'll be all right. Battle? Donald, I don't give a shit about the Pokemon. I'm nervous because look how goddamn sexy Flannery is. Jesus Christ, Joe. I just want to make sure she sees how powerful and dominant I am. Joe, we both know she'd be the dom in that relationship. Oh my God, can you two shut up about this? We are losing viewers as we speak. We have officially lost all three of the female subscribers we gained over the past five weeks. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Obama. Anyway, Guts Mango is an absolute beast. He's gonna one-shot these two shitters at the front of her party with ease. I'm just gonna let him do his thing here. No need to even think about it. Absolute facts, Joe. Mango is my goat. Fuck Armada. That being said, her next two Pokemon would live the attack and kill back with a single overheat. So you might wanna plan around that one. Good call, DT. Joe, you probably wanna keep Mango around because Guts boosted secret power is our highest damage output. Yeah, I think I have to sacrifice. Uh... Not you, our little bug thing here. Get out there, huh? Poor Nincata. Dude's getting sacked every gym battle. Can't help but feel bad for it. Oof, overkill much flannery. This overheat probably kills the entire generational cicada swarm. Oh, seven Nincata, your ass probably can't be revived from this one. Yeah, thankfully this camera up doesn't have a white herb, so his special attack is severely dampened by doing that. Okay, so her Torkoal has the white smoke ability, meaning I can't lower its stats with Screech. So I might as well send Sky in now. This is his best chance to be useful for us. Makes sense to me, Joe, and what the hell, why is it using Tackle? It probably didn't see a kill with Overheat since its special attack is lowered, so it just went for a random move. We got a little lucky there. Sky is clutching up big time. This damage is massive for us. Well, Overheat definitely kills now, so don't rely on him too much. Yeah, it's probably coming here. Miss? Yeah, that would have been clutch. It's all right. She's clearly not in heal range, and Mango can come in and do his thing again. That Torkoal is a menace for sure, but we still have a few team members to take her on. Oh, Seven Sky will win this for you. Yeah, stay focused, Joe. You're through the first part, but now you have her ace to deal with. She still has both of her heals too, so it's not gonna be easy. All right, thanks for the caution, boys. I think I need to just keep Mango in now and just let him do as much damage to the Torkoal as possible. I think I see what my best path to victory is now. We'll let you talk it out, Joe. You've come a long way this series. Let's see what you can do. We're in the final stretch now. Clutch up, JB, it's all you. Oh. Jesus, what an absolute behemoth. Yeah, like base 140 defense or something too. I hate to say it, but Mango is outclassed this time around. Jesus, all right, all right. It's fine, guys, I still have my plan. Oh, sevens for Mango. Oh, seven. Fly high, big guy. All right, what's next, Joe? Okay, so besides Ice Spice, only Ruby and Titan are left. Ruby could come in and throw off some sparks, but that will probably just put her down into heal range a couple times. And we won't actually make any progress. I, I think I need to use Ruby to paralyze her to maximize the chances that Titan can get a meaningful rollout going. All right, I like that, Joe. Plus, we can get this paralysis off. And if luck is on our side like it was for Watson, we can get a couple full paras, too. Yeah, Ruby is fucking indestructible. We didn't even need to teach rollout to Titan. All right. Well, let's just see what happens. Hopefully you guys are right. Ooh, shit, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I think you jinxed us, Donald. All right, so new plan. Ruby just got bodied. It's time for Titan to use rollout. Oh, sevens for Ruby. Uh, again, I guess, uh, anyway, that paralysis may be our ticket to victory. Oh, seven, Ruby, you were a good girl. The best of the good girls. Okay, now, a few options here. Honestly, Joe, you're, you could commit to the rollout. You could get the more reliable damage with Rock Tomb or even 
lower his defense with rock Fuck smash. Fuck all that noise, Obama. Go big or go home. Roll one out for the boys, Titan. Right, we're committed now. That's what I'm fucking talking about, Joe. You're realer than I thought. Holy shit, critical hit into paralysis. We can end it this turn, boys. And we hit. Is this the dagger? Come on, Titan. Come on, Titan. No! Oh, oh so please, close. no overheat. Oh, shit. 30% to paralyze and end our dreams. Cross your fingers, boys. Oh, thank God. Phew, all right. No paralysis. I can't even click buttons. I just have to let Jesus take the wheel. Come on, connect. Let's go. Free turn here. If we hit this next attack, we win. Come on, Titan. Do it for Ruby, for Sky, for Mango, for Ice Spice. Hell That's fucking it. That's yes, it. It's Titan. over. We did it. Another glorious battle in the books, boys. These gyms are stressful as shit. They're really taking years off my life. Joe, you're the goddamn president of America, and this is what is stressing you out? Uh, yes. Anyway, boys, I agree. That was an immaculate battle. Joe, you handled it incredibly well, despite Flannery's uh, charm. Thanks, boys. I couldn't do it without you. Hopefully the viewers enjoyed it as much as we did. Joe, how about you send us off here? We've been at it for a while today. Okay, I will do that. Viewers, thank you for making it to the end of the episode today. A lot of fun stuff happened in this one, so we hope you all appreciated it. Make sure to leave a comment on your favorite gym design in the Pokemon series, and leave us a like and a subscription while you're at it. It means a whole lot to the creator, and, and it inspires him to get these episodes out to you as soon as possible. That reminds me, Dil Zan wanted to make sure everyone knows he is planning on having a couple special episodes in the near future on top of the normal playthrough episodes. So be on the lookout for those. They will be titled a little differently, but they will still be relevant to the series, so make sure to watch them. Good looks, Obama. I'm really looking forward to those. Anyway, everyone make sure to check out our Pokemon Showdown Ladder Climb series if you're into that stuff too. It's a ton of fun and easy to get into if you want to understand the basics of competitive Pokemon. All that out of the way, Flannery, my queen, I'm going to have to leave your gym now. I will never you forget so you. so close, Joe. And you are irreplaceable in my heart. All right, cringe lord. Just say bye already. Oh, it's, it's, it's May. Jesus Christ, Joe. I didn't mean it, my love. Oh, my God, editor, just end the video, please. <laughs>